it's it's a bit of both. I think you're absolutely right. I you know I have a term which I refer to, which is fact-resistant humans. And there's a lot of them around, and they're, and, and they're predominantly in the political classes and the policy-making classes. They just completely deny fact. This will amuse you when the banquet of consequence is, is awarded by, of all people, Stephen Ratner in the New York Times. And it wasn't a very nice review. It killed the book in North America. But the most important thing was he just couldn't handle blizzard facts. He said there was just too many facts in this book. And, uh, you know, one of the most interesting things is an American writer called uh, Fl uh, Fran O'Connor who said, you know, facts really don't depend on your ability to stomach them. And, you know, it's it just, it, they are just there. And, you know, you, you can actually sort of deny reality, but you can't deny the consequences of reality. And to some extent, those things are now coming home to roost. And I think the way this is going to play out is in one of three scenarios.